It was a marathon, nearly 15 hour trek from San Diego to the Redwoods. We just wanted to get to our destination, Sioux Med Campground, where we'd be spending the next couple of days exploring the area. We were just outside the Humboldt Redwood State Park, where the temps dropped quickly from a scorching 94 degrees inland to a cool 65 degrees. We nearly missed all the exits for the Avenue of Giants. We had to stop so we could get our first taste of what's to come at Redwood National Park. It was a pretty cool road with lots of spots to pull over and take it in. About an hour later, we arrived at the campground, ready to settle in for the night. Our first stop was just 20 yards from our campsite, Agate Beach. The views here, even when the marine layer in, were just breathtaking. The trail down to the beach was a beautiful trail with a small waterfall, wildflowers, and these massively disgusting banana slugs. After spending some time on the beach, it was time to head out to Redwoods National Park. Our destination was the Cow Barrel Road. This road is an in and out dirt road that pretty much any car could take. We took it slower their tundra as it was narrow and it was easy for other drivers to be distracted with so much to look at. Going up the road you were just surrounded with redwoods towering above your car. The road was too short to be honest and I could have gone on it for a few hours more. Day two started with the marine layer hanging so low that everything was wet as if it rained. It actually made for the perfect hiking weather as we're about to hike what was the best trail we've hiked in a long time. 
Trillium Falls Trail. This trail went through groves of ancient redwood trees. They towered above you. It was so cool. I actually felt like I was on the Forest Muda Endor in Return of the Jedi. All the trail maps say it's two and a half miles, but it felt way longer. There are some intermediate sections and some slick spots to watch out for, but the views on this trail cannot be beat. I highly suggest it. After eating some lunch, we headed out to Big Lagoon to try to catch something. I saw online that there's steelhead possibly in Big Lagoon, but after throwing a few different lures around for about an hour without any bites, I decided to move on. We went up the 101 freeway to Freshwater Lagoon. This lagoon is loaded with trout. I could see trout fry in the water and there was tons of trout hitting the surface, perfect for throwing the fly. I went with barbless flies and didn't even bother with a net. Mimicking what was flying above the surface, I tied on a small gnat to the end of my tippet. We had to stop at our favorite place on the way back to SoCal, Paso Robles. We sat back, kicked our feet up, had a few drinks, and reminisced about our adventures over the last couple days. And man, we can't wait for our next adventure. Hang in if you can 